Community today is in uh, line with the month that has been declared as Public Service Month, but it's everyday work that we need to be doing. Other departments are doing some similar exercises, but it's something that will carry through uh, every day. I mean, it's the type of services that are actually offered. It's just that it's heightened today to give it a little more prominence because we're in Public Service Month. We've seen quite a number of uh, very disturbing images of water that is wasted, of sewage that runs all over the place. In some instances, it looks like little streams and uh, rivers. And it's something that we would need to, to work with the city on. I will be getting in touch with the mayor to see what it is that we can do to try and fix some of the issues that we're experiencing here. But some of the problems that we're encountering in conversation with our people is, for instance, the house that we've just come out of, the Masemulas, all of the children, five of them, do not have birth certificates, which means they don't attend school, they can't, they can't access any kind of facility, service, or grants from, from government. So we will be, we will be assisting them. It would appear that the problem of birth certificates is quite high in this area, so it's not going to end today. We have a group of uh, community development workers that are going to be visiting each and every household to determine the extent of the problem with regard to birth certificates and any form of identification. We have the 19-year-old who, together with the father, are uh, living in this house. The mother lives somewhere else and she has to look after all of the, the siblings, four of them, she's the fifth. So we need to also assist her, she's 19 years old, she ended at grade 10, she wants to continue with her studies. Uh, we'll be talking to the province to see where it is that they can help, but also uh, the Department of Higher Education to see whether they could need to look uh, for a placement for her in one of the programs uh, to deal with the youth unemployment and also further education. You are correct, it's been going on for too many years. Uh, the type of life that people live here is untenable. Uh, living in, in the midst of sewerage, the houses are too close to one another. At some point, I thought that it was one house, meanwhile it was two homes, um, looking like one home. Uh, it's, it, it's just too close for comfort and uh, we need to be dealing with that. <laughs> Thank you.